All right, what's up, everybody? That's a big dragon. So I'm just giving you guys a quick update here. Give me one second. All right, so this is the gaping dragon. And um, you can see I pretty much already got him almost dead. This fight is way easier than I thought it would be. I'm using the adventure set that I got earlier, so this guy's uh, this guy's kind of retarded. Whee! So he's just kind of gonna slam himself into shit and uh, stun himself, and then you're just gonna dodge, and that's it. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, so there's his kind of slam his head into shit and jack himself up attack. And he's just kind of gonna run around. At any point, I could actually kill him, but I just kind of... I've already got his health down this low because I wasn't sure if I was going to beat him, so I didn't record anything, but... I'm just going to show you the mechanics here of the fight. So he's going to do that move. You're just going to look the hell out. Ooh, yep, just dodge it like that. Let's see if we can get one of his other moves in here, because this, this fight, honestly, is really super easy. When I first saw this guy, I was like, oh, I'm dead, but it's actually pretty simple. I suppose at any time here I could shoot him with an arrow and take him out. That's what you need to do. So I'm gonna wait for him to do his acid move. So he starts doing that at 33%. Gotta watch out for that. There's another stun move. And he basically just bangs his head against the ground and then he's just like, uh, yeah. I'm gonna retard. I guess that's kind of his dash attack that will go into a straight line. Not a whole lot to worry about with this boss, honestly. So, there's the end. So he'll lift his head back up and he'll start turning toward you. And then he has slammed his head back on the ground again like a retard. So, yeah. There's his dash attack. I don't hear the sound very much here. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Now oh, you can hear the sound, sorry about that. So he's gonna lift his head back up. He's gonna come at me, kind of. That's what he's gonna do. Let's switch to my ball and then just try to kill him. I do that! Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. It was so easy to dodge and he just kind of stood there like a tar. Dodge immediately forward. And I guess you could essentially just do this the whole time. Just come over there as well. Not gonna oh, this could hurt. Oh man. Oh Jesus. Oh, he did his furious pound attack thing when he hits the ground as well as he said. Oh god! <laughs> okay, so I just... I feel like that was my bad there. <laughs> LOL. I just lost all my souls and everything. Okay. Well, now I can show you how to get to him then. There, I'll show you. Uh, the pass to get to him because it's pretty easy. And I can show you guys some more gameplay with my new set of armor here. So let me show you what I'm using. Let me kill these guys first. Ow. That's my bad, that was too red. This guy. Sheesh. Go ahead and heal myself because I got spells and shit now. Be nice. I'll have to use my class. Um, yeah, let me kill this rat real quick. Sometimes this rat drops humanity, so let's go to kill him. Alright, so let's 
So here's what I'm using. I've got the raw Murakamo, which is a Murakamo plus five. I'm gonna use the Divine Spirit to turn it into a thingy. Um, to give it bonus damage for it to make it a raw, use the Divine Essence on that. Wombo plus three, Hollow Surger Shield plus five, and then a Talisman so I can heal. Using the Helm of the Wise, Armor of Glorious, Gauntlet's the Vanquisher, and Boots of the Explorer. And then the Red Rain, or the Reign of Evil Eye, which heals me um, when I kill enemies, which is pretty handy. Heals you for one little tick thing. And then I'm using the Blear Tear Stone Rain, Rain so that I have extra defense when I'm almost dead. So what I should actually do is use the Tiny Mutant instead. Which is handy. That way I have more health. Because honestly, once you're really close to almost dead, even with the extra defense, shit will still kill you in one hit. Say. So this door right here is normally locked. You're going to open that up from inside the Undead Parish. Mm. This is a very long haul. This trick right here is at the end. Um, good strategy is to farm stuff and she sells... Uh, she actually sells humanity, which is pretty awesome. Um, she actually sells humanity, which is pretty cool, and then she also sells purging stones, which you're going to need um, in case you get cursed by the basilisks, because they're annoying. You'll see those later on, but that's that's pretty cool that I found someone that actually sells humanity, which essentially means as long as you've got the souls, you can play online as much as you want, which is pretty cool. So, um, I was actually thinking about using some humanity, because I read that you can get um, Solar and Loric to help you in the fight with the gaping dragon. And I was like, alright, well, let me just see if I can cut off his tail. Which, oh yeah, that reminds me, I cut off his tail. So I can show you guys the... The Great King Dragon Ass. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing right there, look at that. Wow. I think... Jeez. And then even with two hands, I still can't use it right. Dang, this thing must be a monster, yo. Well, that's pretty freaking crazy, man. That's, that's nuts. Oh, wow! Requires 50 strength. Jeez, you know what? Man, no wonder. Nice. So now I got two dragon weapons. I got the dragon, or the great sword, and the dragon king great axe, which is pretty cool. Then. All right, but I want to use. Let's stay with my Mura, Mura, Mura Kumo. It's a sword. This sword does about as much damage as the Black Knight sword and swings about as fast as the Drake sword. So it's a, it's a really awesome combination of strength and speed that you can uh, you can use this thing with, which is pretty awesome. Tears. No kidding. I hate this place. Okay, hang on. I just gotta run my way through here. These guys are here. That dude. This guy. Not that dude. Oh yeah, and I don't know. Oops. What's this guy? Looking straight sword. That's useless. Oh yeah, and I don't know if I showed you before. What was that? Level like 45, I think, in the last video? I'm level 63 now. And my covenant is the way of the white. So, yay for me. Um, because that's actually how I got this sword. Because I wanted to farm those souls, like I had mentioned in the last video. And, uh, um... The fact that you can just get 7,000 souls in 5 minutes or less is just like, that's that's undeniable there that, you know, you got the chance to do that. And if you're part of the Covenant, you can't. So I was like, eh, I PvP'd for a little bit more, kept getting my ass kicked still, and then um, decided to go ahead and start killing those guys again. Start killing those dudes again, and that's what let me... Once I beat up the main dude, he dropped this sword, and I've been using this sword ever since. Because this sword is amazing. And then once I got into the depths, I bought the adventure set here, because it's pretty beast. I believe I'm going down here now. Crap right there. So you're gonna go past this, you're just gonna bust through that thing right there. 
drop you down here. Well, I'm honestly not sure how to get over there to that. Now there's going to be a bunch of basilisks in here. i got to watch out for that. Well, first there's going to be a bunch of rats. But there's basilisks in here, too. Anyways. This is gonna be not good. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Yes, those are basilisks, and they are major pains in the ass. Because they can curse you, as I learned the hard way what happens when you're cursed. You get turned into stone. Turned into stone and all kinds of that stuff. Thank you. This one's still alive, or is his body just a bunch? His body just got no shells out of that one. So we need to go this way. Oh, through the path of several basilisks, which suck. Let's see, I believe it's this way. bad. I've picked up enough endurance and stuff with my recent levels that I can uh, attack five times in a row with this sword, which is pretty sweet. I've got enough endurance to be able to do that. Cool. But for such a heavy sword, I can swing it that many times. So, these guys aren't too tough here. Just take a little, I think just take a little bit of killing here. a good offensive here and kill these guys. Here is the shopkeeper dude, which actually came back to this guy. You can see he's got the same gear I have on because he sells that gear, so. Um, Hi, Shema. We meet again. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. So he's got lightning you can put on your weapon. I guess maybe I should buy some of it. Let's buy some of it. Spend all the rest of our money on arrows. There we go. This is locked, and the only way to open it is with the master key, which I do not have. So anytime I die now, I have to run all the way back, which makes sense. So. Alright, I'm gonna go back up here. You know, actually see this is where we were fighting the dragon. And to get back over there, you don't have to go through here. Do 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 back down here and through here again. See now if I was uh let's see. Raise the sun, yep. I think if I was human I'd be able to summon Solar and Lorik somewhere around here to help me with this fight, but I don't actually think I need their help with this fight. Here's the cinematic for the Gaping Dragon. Pretty cool.
Yeah, he's pretty scary looking. You see him and you're kind of like, oh god, I'm screwed, right? That's exactly what I thought. But man, this guy is so easy to kill. Like, I couldn't believe it, honestly. I'm sweet as my soul. He's got his tail back. That's lame. I'm gonna slice that shit off again, then. He wants to do that shit. Come on, come on. Slam your head on the ground like it's hard. Run at me. And that's how you would essentially get the Dragon King Great uh, Great Ass. I already have it, so I mean, it didn't give it to me twice. But that's pretty much how you get it. Pretty easy. And the good news is now that his tail is gone, I don't have to worry about him using his tail as an attack now. Because he does have a tail swipe that he would do. He can't do that now. I'm just going to fight this guy normal, and I'll just straight show you this fight. He is flying in the air, and he does that to essentially reposition himself. Ah, oh, shit. It's hurt. Oh, man. Whoa! Oh. I honestly didn't know there was a woo. Well, let's just did it again. I was going to be like, I didn't know there was an end of this thing. Oh, hell! I didn't know I could run right off the cliff there. Looks like you maintain enough distance and he gets pissed off like that. I just slam his own face on the ground. Pretty easy fight. And then just wait for him to run forward so you don't take any damage. And run forward in certain ways and then you just slice the shit out of his tail. Not really, that kind of did almost no damage to me. Oh shit. It is going to call me on Skype, alrighty then. Shizzle on this. So, I mean, yeah, this essentially is the easiest way to do this fight right here, I guess. Sit here and unload into this guy. Arrows. Once he reaches 33%, he's gonna do a different attack called Acid Throw Up. Let's see if he does it. Anyway, he's gonna run that way, so... Ah, I missed. Fat ass, and I missed. You doing the acid move? He might be doing the acid move now. Hard to tell. He takes the ball stand. He takes the same stance for both. He either do the acid move or he'll slam his head on the ground again. Ah shit! Oh man! Oh! And he hit me with that barely. Yes. Gotcha, bitch. 
That's the acid move, I think. Yep. Oh shit. Yep. That's it. All right. Time to run. 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 Plus one. This guy's on the face on the ground. Wee. Now we'll finish him off with the sword here. We're gonna like ninja, super ninja power this. Fatality move, two handed strong attack. Go for it. Yeah! What the? Dragon is dead! Flight Town Key, hey -o. And humanity is in the homeward boat. Very nice. And 25,000 souls for that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and... Hmm, where's that? Homer bone, homer bone. We'll go ahead and use the homer bone here. And now... That is it. So there's the Gaping Dragon. A good fight. And I'll talk to Nate here on Skype. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace. God, that's a big sword. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Big sword. Woo!